Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Ursiri brand light meter, Lux independent sensor, digital illuminance meter with a range up to 400,000 Lux with a large LCD screen that's actually lit and it includes a 9 volt battery. It's accurate and fast measurement, measures up to 400,000 Lux with high accuracy of plus or minus 4% RDG, plus or minus 10 DGTS over 10,000 Lux. Has auto adjustment on there and independent sensor. As you can see, it has a uh, flexible uh, coiled cable on there. It allows you to stretch it, twist any measurement spot that you need to. And also on the sensor itself, it has a quarter 20 a bolt on there, um, nut uh, receptor, so that you can put it on a tripod and adjust the angle of it really nicely. There's also rubber on the sides here, which allows this to have a nice grip to it. I'm going to show you that right here because this camera is probably not picking it up, but you have rubberized sides right there. And it has a nice little cover that stays on the unit. If you, and you just cover it just like that and it protects the sensor right there. You have a warranty card with contact information from the company right here and a little instruction booklet. And this is the ET932 light meter. And it also comes with a very nice little case, a zipper case that you can put the unit in and keep it all nicely in place so that you can bring it to a, a work site or a job site now this part right here comes out for portability and it allows you to plug and unplug this. Just line this up with the pins. If there is a flat side in there that you have to line it up, you'll feel when it goes in. Make sure you go all the way in like that till it stops because if you go partially it won't work. Now the unit comes with a battery and I'm going to show you right here. You slide this back and lift it up. It's a 9 volt battery is included. Just put the 9 volt battery on there. Now, if you try and slide this like this, you're never going to be able to close it. And I couldn't figure out why, but it's real simple. All you do is, is just lift it up and back and slide just like that. Same thing in reverse. Put it in that little slot right there. Move it a little far further back. Then it flattens out and you close it like that. Very nice. So, how does this operate? Well, you just hit the power button right there and it starts showing, in this case it's showing Lux. Now we're going to go to a close-up view. Okay, so I have a close-up right here and uh, let's see if I could put on the light. Hold this button right here and it turns the light on. Now there is a light there but it's making it a little bit easier to see but I think it'll help. The studio lights are making it harder to see but uh, Right there you can see that it's measuring uh, Lux. If I want to change the unit, I can go to foot candle, then it shows FC right there. I can go back to Lux right there. If you want to hold any one of the values, let's say I want to hold that, you pulse the light button, and you see it holds it, and the word hold appears on the screen. Then you hit that again, and it goes back to non-hold, letting you look at the uh, Lux again. If you want to capture the minimum maximum, so let's say I hit right there and it goes to maximum then I hit it again and it goes goes to minimum and now I can see the minimum and maximum numbers right on the screen now you can power it off and get rid of those minimum and maximum by holding it down just like that now let's power it back up now there is levels on here and it has four different levels so it'll def it'll default to the 0 to 400 lux and you could change it by hitting that level button to 400 to 4K Lux, 4K to 40K Lux, or 40K to 400K Lux. Um, so, very simple to do. Right now, if you look in the top, it says 4K to 40K. Now, if you've picked the wrong level, you'll notice how it says 0L right there. So that's overload, because I picked the wrong level. So you just change the level until you get the reading that you want and you could you see that it's changing the range right on top right there so keep in mind the range and that will be the number in lux that you could read very simple and then if you could always always turn the unit off and turn it back on and it should default back to 
that first level. In this case, it's 4K to 40K. So if I go really close, you can see it's getting brighter and brighter. So I'm, I'm right on time on, on the sensor right there. So right now I'm on 4K to 40K and it's showing 31.2. So if I were to change this level, it overloads, as you can see. And then if I get the right level, I could see the range right there by picking the correct one. So the range is important that you pick the right one for what you're measuring. Otherwise, you're going to get the overload message on there. So that's basically the operation. You pick the right level, look at the level on the display. Also notice that it has this unique little uh, analog looking bar display on there, which moves with the light. So as you're putting less light on there, that thing drops down. So if I darken this up a little bit, you see how that thing dropped down just right there. So I know it's hard to pick up the camera, but that's an analog rendition of what the sensor is picking up. It's kind of like uh, an analog uh, bar control on there, which is nice. A lot of them don't have that. I like that. So you can quickly look to get your level set by looking at that bar and you know if you get the the uh, overload that you're in the wrong setting just like that so pick the right setting and you'll be all set very simple to use and again it has that tripod mount on the bottom so you can put this on a tripod and when you're not using it you can cover this up to prevent dust to get inside the unit so you're all set and again, that's the light button right there. And the, the light is on a timer, so it won't waste the battery. So right now that light is on. Studio light is really bright, but it will go off after so many seconds, which will keep your battery in check and not have to worry about it. This unit does come with a one year warranty from the manufacturer or Siri. So you can't go wrong, it's a great product. Now here I have a calibrated light meter. Yeah, I can measure lux. So if I go at the distance that they set, which is about 15 centimeters away, which I measured, and what I get on the lux meter, I get 10,000, right there, 10,000 or 11,000 lux. So they're not uh, kidding about that. That's very bright, but it's a very balanced light. So it actually, I measure exactly what they said in their spec sheet, and that's a good sign. So what's my overall opinion about their Ursiri, their ET932 light meter? I like this product. It really works, as I demonstrated. It has a simple menu on here, comes with the battery. You're all set. Once you get this in the mail, you can be able to put it to use. This is a great product for the price, and it seems to be very accurate. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.